Guys, welcome to March's episode. This month, we're gonna go over one simple thing that you guys can do on your farm to improve your hunting strategy, your food plots, and your overall land management. We said it before, you'll hear me say it again, I will continue to say it. Help the deer do what deer want to do. Soil pH. Guys, this is the number one spot to start in your regards to your food plots. I'm shooting for a 6.5 pH right here on my farm. My soil pH was low. It was in the upper fives, five, seven, five, nine. So I applied the amount of ag lime to this to raise that soil pH to a 6.5. Contact your local um, grain elevators, your fertilizer dealer, um, that your row crop farmers work with, they can help you in regards to this. They can send soil samples in, they can help you with a prescription on what to apply to your food plots to get the, that pH up. Um, I applied five tons the acre to get to a 6.5. Uh, that was a lot of ag I'm gonna throw up a little clip here. I videoed the guy doing it, it was after dark, it was awesome. Um, but I raised that, that to a 6.5 pH. The reason we're shooting for 6.5 is that is the sweet spot in regards to a pH level where your plants can uptake all the nutrients that it needs to. If the soil pH is too low, it will not be able to pull uh, some nutrients. If it's too high, it will not be able to pull other nutrients. So we're trying to get that, that spot in the middle where it can pull from, from everything. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna roll into nitrogen, phosphate, potassium, the three macronutrients that are also super key to your food plots. Guys, this is, um, this is where really next level land management starts is making sure that your soil is in proper condition because a lot of people plant a food plot and it doesn't do very well and they'll blame it on a seed company or whatever it may be but without doing a soil test and ever all the results that you see above ground start below ground so that's where uh, that's what we're going to focus on first up nitrogen nitrogen is your key hitter in regards to your grass corn, wheat, um, a lot of your what's in your fall blends, the, the grass families, barley, uh, whatever that might be. It's also very important uh, for your turnips, radishes, not so much your clover and your soybeans. When regards to clover and soybeans, it is your phosphate and potassium. Those two are also very, very critical in regards to growing corn and particularly clover in your chicory plots. Chicory and clover pull more phosphate and potassium as well as soybeans. Uh, they just, they pull a lot out of the soil. Then this is something that you can do on, on wide scale. This is something that you can do on a very small spot. I've got a, a clover plot here on my farm. It's a quarter acre in size. I broadcast it with a four wheeler spreader. Uh, you can go to your local co-op. You can buy 50 pound bags of, of fertilizer. Ask them, tell them what you need based off of your fertilizer recommendation or show them and they would, I would, I would hope be happy to show you and give you a recommendation on what to do. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to pull a soil sample. Um, we're gonna go for a six inch zone sample. Zone means your soil profile, your top six inches. Um, I've got my soil sample bag. I've got a bucket. I also brought a hand trowel in case you guys, most people probably don't have an actual soil probe. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull it with just a hand trowel. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig down approximately six inches and I'm going to try to create just a wall right here. Okay, that is, we're getting real close to six inches. Whoop. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my trowel and I'm going to shave off soil just like so. And I'm gonna drop it in my bucket. And I'm gonna do this in if you got an acre food plot, uh, it's probably gonna take, I believe it's eight to 10 soil samples. All right, so when you get all your samples pulled in your, in your bucket, you're gonna mix it all together so that it's blended evenly and you're going to pour the contents of the buckets into your soil sample bag up to the top of the fill line and you will close it up. Um, a little tip, it's gonna have the information to write on here right on the bag before you fill it up with dirt. It makes it a lot easier to write on. Um, so yeah, that is, that's how to pull a soil sample with a garden trowel, a bucket, and a bag. If you have a soil probe, great. It's a little bit quicker. Um, it's just very important that you guys make sure that you shear off a six inch 
uh, amount with your soil trowel to get that six top six inch soil profile. That's it guys, that's it, that's it to the soil sample. If you guys uh, have any questions, hit me up on Instagram, j.pretzer.9. I love talking this kind of stuff with people. I'd be happy to help you out with your soil recommendations. Um, if you get us, if you get your sample back and are having any questions on it, feel free to hit me up. I'll write everybody back that I can. I appreciate everyone that's followed along thus far and I can't wait to see you in next month's episode.